I'm nervous with you in here. I don't know why. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be a Q&A, basically kind of to get to know who I am and um, kind of to introduce myself to YouTube and you guys. Um, I know a lot of you don't know who I am, so this is a great way for us to get to know each other and I hope you guys enjoy. I guess what I should start with is um, my name is Emily, I'm 23 years old and I'm from Ohio. Um, I'm currently working for the Ohio section of the PGA, which is a Professional Golfers Association. I'm married to my husband, Eric, and we have no kids and no pets, so that's basically the extent of that. But we are in the process of moving and working on a house right now, so that's been great. And that's kind of been what's taking up our time recently. So, but other than that, um, let's get on with the rest of the questions. So the first question is, what did I do for education? And I'm assuming that means where did I go to college and what did I study? I went to Tiffin University, which is in Ohio, and I studied sports management with a concentration in marketing. That was not my original major. My original major was forensic science, but I switched my sophomore year because just at that point I decided that that's not what I wanted to do anymore and I really love golf and I really wanted to keep golf in my life for a really long time so I figured I was gonna get a sports management degree and work in marketing for golf in some way shape or form that's pretty much the extent of my education I got my bachelor's degree there and right now I don't have any plans to get my master's I'm planning to go a different route where I get certified with the PGA instead of a master's so I'll be doing that this upcoming year and I hope to hopefully make a video kind of showing you guys the process of that because I think it's very interesting especially if you are interested in golf and trying to get into sports education all right, so the next question is, what is the favorite part of my current job? And I would say that my favorite part of my current job is being able to be around golf all the time and working to make golf better for other people. Currently right now, I'm in a position where I'm in more of a learning stage of it's kind of like a, a stepping stone stage of where do I want to end up in the industry as opposed to this is where I want to stay in the industry but I love I absolutely loved working with junior golfers and PGA Junior League and drive chip and putt that was some of my favorite days to work so I would say that my my definitely my favorite part of my job is being able to introduce kids to golf and all of the wonder wonderful things that it does for everybody and being able to to show kids that this is a sport that everybody can play and you can play for your whole life. The next question is, uh, what has golf done for me? I have been around golf since the day I was born. I started swinging a club at the age of two. My dad put one in my hand when I was just two years old. We used to own a par three course out literally right across our driveway. We used to own one and my dad used to coach and teach and run leagues so golf has been around for around me for such a long time that I it, it's hard to imagine my life without it it opened up a lot of different avenues um, educationally and just athletically for me I was able to play for four years at Tiffin University and grow my game even more I was able to go to school for it and get a job in it and see what it's like to work in golf. Golf has opened up so many doors for me to not only not only for just me, but for me to show everybody, like to show people what the game of golf can offer them as well. Uh, the next question is, what do you do when you're not golfing? Um, well, right now I haven't been golfing all that much. The weather in Ohio is starting to go is starting to go south. So it's starting to get really cold here, so golf isn't as much of an option anymore. My off time when I'm not golfing, when it's actually nice out, uh, I really enjoy, I like reading, I love hiking, I enjoy going, to, going and thrifting, um, hanging out with my family, my friends, Eric. I don't know, I, the, th 
This summer was a little weird for me because I didn't golf as much as normal and I worked a lot. So I did spend a lot of my summer working, which is completely fine. That's what my job, that's, that's on season for my job. But I just enjoyed doing the small things this summer on my days off and the times where I actually got to spend time with people, especially with everything that's been going on. It was really nice to be able to see people again in person. Okay, so the next question is, what kind of music do you like? I really don't have a select genre that I prefer over others. I kind of listen to anything. The only kind of music that I don't listen to is I don't listen to hardcore rap very often. Sometimes I do if I'm working out, it just depends on the song. And I don't like heavy metal or screamo music or anything like that. Unfortunately, my husband likes it, so I do have to listen to it every once in a while. But next question that I have here is, what are your plans for the future in regards to golf? As of right now, my plan is to, I would like to pursue a career where I can teach. I would love to teach golf. Maybe not, I, I don't, I'm not sure about wanting to go towards like coaching a team, but individual teaching, helping kids, things like that. A big aspiration of mine is I wanna play and I do plan to start playing in uh, local events uh, in this upcoming season and possibly in the off season starting to travel a little bit more as long as financially I am able to. Right now my goal is to be able to be in a career in golf where I can also play and try to make that become a full-time gig. So the next question somebody asked is what are your prospective plans with your husband in the next five to ten years? I would say probably in the next five to ten years we we plan to have maybe at least one kid hopefully by then. We, I know that we both would like to move out of Ohio maybe one day um, but as of right now, we, we plan to stay in Ohio for at, least a, for at least a few more years. Right now, our biggest plans are to move into our house and get situated there and finally be able to start our lives on our own. I know that we have, we already have some really cool vacations and stuff in the works that we want to take, some really cool backpacking and hiking trips that we want to take. Right now, first step is getting into our house that we're remodeling. Somebody asked, what are some hobbies that you are hoping to take up? Definitely, I would love to start hiking and fishing more. I love being outside. It's just that uh, most of the time it ends up being on a golf course. So I would love to take up hiking and fishing more, backpacking, mountain biking. I would love to be able to start to get into that again because I miss it. Somebody asked, where would you like your next vacation to be? Dream vacation would be Italy. I've always wanted to go to Italy, but I don't think that that is in the near future anytime soon because that is a really big committed vacation that we would have to really plan out. So I would say that I would really like my next vacation to be, I think at a beach somewhere. I haven't been to a beach in a while. The last time I went to the beach was in 2018 when my family took a trip to North Carolina and we just did our honeymoon in the mountains and also stay tuned for that video that video is going to be coming next week another vacation i'd really like to take is i would love to go somewhere like in the winter when it's snowy and we stay in a cabin um anywhere like that i think that would be really fun too okay the next question somebody asked is what kind of podcasts are you into there are two podcasts that i listen to religiously and that is the Black Rifle Coffee Podcast. Um, my fiance actually got me into that and it's hilarious and I love listening to it. Big one that I really like, I really like Cold Case Files. Um, those are just super awesome 30 minute short podcasts talking about just cases that were solved over a number of years. I am a huge crime junkie. So things like that I absolutely love and that podcast is perfect. Like, I really like Sadie Robertson's podcast. It's called Sadie Robertson's Whoa That's Good podcast. I absolutely love that podcast that she does with all of the, the Christian, um, all of the Christian influencers that she talks to and they talk about some really big life challenges and advice and she brings her mom into it. And that's another one that I love to listen to in the morning, especially if I'm having a really rough morning. That one just always brightens up my day. Somebody asked me, if you could have one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Wow, that's hard. I'd say a burger or pasta. 
because those those are probably also my two one of my two favorite foods too. So I feel like because you can kind of make variations of it, you can get away with it a little bit easier. But I'd say burger or pasta is probably one that I could have every single day. Somebody asked, what is the best concert that you have ever been to? My favorite concert that I've ever gone to, I went to a Mercy Me concert literally two weeks before uh, everything went down in 2020. My family and I went and it was a blast. Uh, I absolutely love Mercy Me, so they were awesome and that was probably my favorite concert of all time. I cried like five times, it was great. So the next question somebody asked is, what is the most essential part of your daily routine? I would say the most, the two most essential parts of my daily routine would be brushing my teeth because I can't stand if I forget ever forget to brush my teeth, which I typically don't, and two would definitely be reading my Bible and doing my devotionals. My day just is automatically better when I do that. So the next question, and this is where I'm going to end off because I know that she's gonna be watching this and I wanna put this in the video for her. My best friend in the world, Ashley, asked me, what color is my underwear? Ashley, I don't know what color your underwear is, but I'm going to take a wild guess that it is maybe, possibly, at this moment in time, blue. But if you guys know what that's from, then you're the real OGs, then I know that you guys love SpongeBob just as much as I do because I am an avid Spongebob fan. Anyways, alright guys, so I'm actually gonna end the video there. Um, I feel like you guys got to know a little bit more about me. I can't wait for you guys to get to know me more in my videos and I can't wait to get to know you guys more. This is something that I have been wanting to do for a really long time and I want to be able to grow an audience where we can just basically be best friends. I just want a whole big family of best friends on this online platform that I'm taking up. But on that note, my sweater is cute, it's got Halloween dogs on it. Happy Halloween, like and subscribe, follow me on social media and I will see you guys next time.